YouTube, what is going on? Do you already know who it is? It is your boy, the dryer nude here. And today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to use raw mouse Excel. Now I know you guys are gonna be like, but Newt, mouse Excel is gonna destroy my muscle memory. What if I told you you can customize your um, curves and basically have it to wherever you flick, it stays the exact same. So basically, I'm gonna show you guys how to do this, how to set it up, and I'll explain it as I go. It's gonna be absolutely crazy. So let's get right into it. So basically, what you want to do is you wanna find a sensitivity that you are comfortable with, okay? When you're moving around, hip firing, and all that. So I really, really like and let's go into our settings here. I'm at a 3.5 currently at 800 DPI. DPI doesn't matter. You guys are just gonna be going into your sensitivity that you're comfortable with. We are at 3.5 and basically we're playing on relative 1.78 and we're gonna just switch this to instant, okay? So we're right here. We're doing this and this is what I'm comfortable at, hip firing and basically just having fun, okay? So what sensitivity am I really good at? Like being consistent and the lowest sensitivity possible for me to track people. I think for me, remember we're at 3.5, write this down. You want to write whatever sensitivity you're at right now. Now you want to go into and find the lowest sensitivity that you're comfortable with. With me, let's try 1.5, okay? Let's just for convenience sake. So right now it's super slow. I can still be super consistent and I can still track people pretty easily, but I have to move my mouse a lot. This feels good. I can get on target, I can stay on target and do the micro movements pretty easily. So 1.5 seems really good. It's really hard to turn around and stuff, but okay, 1.5 is really good. So that's our lowest sensitivity right now. Next thing you wanna do is you wanna go in and find the sensitivity that you're good with movement. Remember we're at 3.5 for our normal sensitivity, 1.5 is for our lowest sensitivity. Now we want to go in and let's just say, maybe a five is best for me. Like I could keep my movement going. Yeah, this feels good. I can move around, flick around. Yeah, but I can't control it, okay? So now we're going to go into raw mouse Excel. Remember, write this down. Our normal sensitivity, and we're going to switch it back, was a 3.5, 3.5, enter it in. Our low sensitivity was 1.5, and our high sensitivity was five. Next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to alt tab out of this, and now I have the mouse Excel going right now. And basically we are going to enable this, but before we do this, we're going to go to advanced, go to cap style and switch it to legacy. Okay. You want it to switch to legacy. I'm going to enable it. Now we also have to have our calculator up right here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to divide our lowest sensitivity, which was 1.5 by our high sensitivity divided by 3.5 and that is going to equal 4.2 so 0.42 we're going to put that in our top right here so it's going to be 0.42 boom we have this set up and link for this program is going to be down in the description below also you guys go to advanced go to cap style switch it to legacy that's how you're going to get this graph okay now the next thing we want to do is we want to have it to linear my acceleration at is at a 0. Uh, 0 0.09 i find this one to be the best now that we have our calculator up again remember at 4.2 that's going to enter in the top one and all that to get this is you're going to divide the lowest sensitivity that you're comfortable with 1.5 by your normal sensitivity which is 3.5 and then which for me in my case enter in whatever input you have 0.428 which is basically a 0.42 okay boom we enter that in now the cap okay so now that we have that we are actually going to divide our high end game sense by our low end game sense. So remember for me, it was a five divided by, and this you just whatever input you have, divided by 3.5, this is my normal end game sense, and we get 1.42, okay? 1.42 is going to be the cap. So right now we're at 1.1, this is not what we want. So let's put it at a three, and you're gonna play around with the cap, apply. We're trying to get it as close as we can to 1.42. So we're at 1.39, let's try 3.7, apply. 
Okay, so we're above 1.44. It's right up here. We want to drop that down, maybe 3.5. All right, so we are right in the ballpark of 1.42. So basically that is all you're going to want to do. So remember your sensitivity when you flick is not going to go above this right here. We're going to apply this. And basically this is pretty much how you set it up guys. So now we're going to go back into game here. And now I get the benefit of flicking, still keeping my muscle memory, okay? Still keeping my muscle memory. So when I flick, it's at a five sensitivity. I have that fast aim, but I have the slow aim of when I'm at a low sensitivity. Remember I said it was a one. I can keep it at a 1.5. So when I move my mouse slowly, it keeps it at a 1.5, but I could flick and go onto target and keep that sensitivity so this is why mouse excel it could be for some people not the windows mouse excel but this program because you can decide what stages you want your sensitivity to be okay so let's just say hypothetically okay my sensitivity is comfortable at a 3.5 i'm going to show you multiple uh different iterations of how to do this okay and it's it's really simple so when i move my mouse slowly it's at that low sensitivity. But when I move it fast, it stays at the high sensitivity. But when I get on target, it's at that low sensitivity. But say you don't wanna do this, right? Say you wanna keep it the same sensitivity. So if you're at like a four or 3.5, you don't want your sensitivity to go up above a 3.5. Let's do that. So now we are going to actually go back here, go back here. We are actually gonna go back and our low sensitivity is gonna be calculate. We want to have it at our lowest sensitivity was a 1.5, right? That's what we we're comfortable at. Divided by 3.5 equals 0.42. That's gonna stay the same. But for the high sensitivity, if you don't want it to, if you want it to stay at 3.5, you're just gonna divide 3.5, divide by, th oh. you're gonna go 3.5 or whatever sensitivity that you're comfortable with. For you, it could be a four but it's basically gonna come out to be a one and you're gonna divide it by that number again, 3.5 equals one, okay? See our curve here? It's way higher than we want. We're going, this is what the five sensitivity curve is. We're gonna to want to drop this down. Let's drop it down to like, I think a two, maybe that will do it. Okay, so a two is a little too low. 2.5 maybe, let's see. Okay, so one's right here, 2.5 is too high. Let's try 2.3. Okay, 2.3, one is right here, 2.35. Okay, we're at a one, 2.35. It's pretty close, pretty close. You're gonna apply that. And now when you flick, it's gonna never go above a four or 3.5 sensitivity, okay? So now, I'm keeping the same sensitivity. It's not going to go above when I use it. All right. So here we go. I flick that's at a five or 3.5. This is at a 3.5 constantly. But when I move slowly, that's at a 1.5 sensitivity. Okay. So basically that's just going to slow it down and make it to where when you're moving real fast, you'll be able to flick on the people and just be able to dominate, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully that this makes sense. Like when I flick from here to here, it's the same sensitivity. It doesn't change. But when I slow down, it's not moving. I slowly move my mouse and it moves at that 1.5 sensitivity mark. It's constant. So I this won't destroy your muscle memory, It'll just make it easier for you to flick on the people and have that aimbot like aim. I know this is not for everybody, but listen, give it a try if you're struggling with the traditional aiming method. I know people say mouse excel is bad, but you guys can see it helps me out a lot and it's actually really fun. You're gonna get really accurate with it. You're gonna get jiggy with it, man. Let's say you want it even slower, bro. Let's say your lowest sensitivity is a one. You could change this real quick too. So say you have a one, you divide one. Okay, calculate, divide one point, or sorry, your lowest sensitivity is a one. 
you want to divide that by 3.5 that equals 28 2.8 okay you're just going to put in on the top 2.8 apply now we got to switch this this has to go up a little bit more okay so remember we want to stay the same hip fire uh sensitivity when we flick because we're used to flicking at 3.5 sensitivity 3.5 divided by 3.5 which is going to be a one so we want to get this up to a one so we're going to change this to maybe a three apply and it's not at a one we're going to get this up to a one so we're going to change it over to a four apply now it's above a one so we're going to change it down to 3.8 maybe okay it's getting close there so 3.8 maybe 3.77 okay we're getting super close you're going to get this as close as possible 3.4 yeah it's getting it's almost there so 3.7 let's just try that 3.7 super close now when you go into the game you still flick at 3.5 but when you're adsing it's going to be so slow bro it's going to be like a, you're going to be at a one but maybe you like that maybe it's going to be easier for you to track people and it really helps out you can literally just use it customize it to however you like it play around with it it's really helpful really useful and it helps out and it makes i don't know it's just it's just really helpful but i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know down in the comment section below if you have any questions or if you try this or help you out as long as guys stay blessed stay humble and i'll catch you in a future video peace